Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a matcap in Maya like you use in ZBrush. Uh, usually uh, you don't see it oftenly people using matcaps in Maya. Uh, there is a plugin though on uh, a YouTube. I, I saw a video a couple of days ago. Uh, let me check that. So if you type matcap in Maya. So yeah, the first video, basically someone wrote uh, a script to set up a matcap. Basically it load is, loads a bunch of uh, matcap images and then uh, it previews on a viewport real time. So as you can see, same way uh, we can set up in Maya by doing some manual steps. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So I'll do it as fast as I can and make this tutorial as short as possible. So let's just uh, open a file. You can use any OBJ file or, or it works on any model. So I'll load my orc uh, which I was working on on ZBrush. It's a decimated version so shouldn't be that much problem. So let's see. Uh, first, you need to apply a default Lambert shader, which is everyone knows, nothing special about it. Uh, in the color tab, you select uh, a environment ball. Basically, this environment ball we use uh, normally in HDRIs or in panoramic images if you want to uh, create a background, but in this case, we will use as a texture. So hit the environment ball and then in that parameter uh, in the image tab we are just gonna load our images which will be uh, matcap images let me show you how it looks like if you search on Google matcap this is how it's gonna look like so basically it's like a, a square image with a sphere on it with uh, 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 light and color information so you have a bunch of images, you can download any image you want as long as the image is square like this, this, this one. I've actually downloaded a couple of images of my own. You can do it also in ZBrush for example if you want to uh, uh, you know, grab a shader for example let's say a normal shader and I want this to be as an image so I can uh, use this in Maya. So how I can do that? Well. I can do that by going to material tab and then uh, in this modifiers properties I'll go down and there's there's a option called create matcap texture that creates a texture and then you can just uh, select the texture and then export it to you know image file any name you want to put on and then save it that's all so same way you can just you know select any matcap and you can save it so i'm going to go to maya now uh, and apply a image of the images uh, the image which i exported from zbrush uh, it's an exr format so it doesn't matter if it's jpeg png or exr it works the same uh, so let me just load a default like chrome shader so you can see it better in viewport after applying that you need to make sure that the color space needs to be srgb for me the default will be linear because i'm using a filmic base for my rendering purpose but for jpegs or any sort of images i mean uh, except the exr but not in this case because when you're using displacement it's a uh, 32-bit format you need to use linear but for that case I'll use sRGB so it actually previews the right colors and then I need to press 6 because of course that's a texture when I do that uh, it works perfectly fine on viewport there's no lag at all uh, it's basically not a reflection it's just uh, doing a fake reflection and showing you as a matcap 
of uh, same uh, same way ZBrush does. It actually uh, projects the texture on top of the um, geometry, and then it feels like it's a it's a reflection, but it's not. So uh, it works perfectly fine. There is a couple of things that we need to tweak in order to get the the best of it. Let me just change the shader because you can't see it here. Let me change a different uh, texture. So I'll just load a, uh, let's say, clay shader. When you do that, you need to turn on again sRGB. And then it works fine from this angle. Everything works perfectly fine. So as long as you go backwards or any angle you might like, you see there is some weird artifacts going on here. Uh, and that doesn't look right. We need to fix that. There's an easy fix for it. Just go back one step and then just turn on this eye space. That allows the image basically to parent with the camera. So it always shows the front side of the image, if that makes sense. So when you do that, it disappears completely. And now from every angle, the shader will show you perfectly fine. So now basically you can go here, you can change the shader, for example this guy, in condensing shader, so you just uh, do this RGB and it works perfectly fine. So that also applies on hard surface, it, sometimes it's useful uh, if you're doing a hard surface modeling like cars or any kind of hard surface model and if you want to see a flow of the surface, these uh, matcap techniques helps you to see the surface better if that makes sense so yeah I mean that's pretty much it hope you guys like it if you like it just let me know I'll post more stuff like that in the future take care bye